Praise Him. Hallelujah on this beautiful July 3rd, guys. It's the 3rd of July. And uh, it's a beautiful morning out here. As I'm just sitting here taking in the sights, the sounds, the breeze. You know, you don't know where it comes from. You don't know where it goes. You know, the Holy Spirit um, is a song called, uh, you know, about the wind. You know, it's like the Holy Spirit. You don't know where it comes from. You don't know where it goes, right? And it's just a beautiful morning out here. About 6, or uh, I'm sorry, 7 50 Eastern Standard Time in the a.m. Uh, here in Michigan and uh, we're holding it down for the Lord here How about you wherever you are holding it down for the Lord? And how do we do that? The Lord holds us down and we can hold it down and be able to let God work through us and um, This morning. Um, I don't know if it's morning afternoon or evening wherever you are. I don't know uh, What time zone you might be in but whatever it is God is with you. He's with me, right? He's with us all because he's not bound by time and space He's everywhere at one time. This is the God we serve. Every Everybody else's religion, you know, and I'm not knocking any religion out there or denomination. Um, they all just think they do it better than the next. And everyone who started all these um, other religions, you know, um, because we have a friendship. It's what God, the creator of the universe, offers us as Christians, Holy Spirit filled, God living within us, believers in Jesus Christ. The Jesus way is the only way. Father Yahweh, God Almighty, sent his only begotten son. I mean, God left heaven and came to earth to be one of us, to go through the sacrifice, to go through tough times, and through his suffering, other people benefited, right? Now, a lot of religions out there, none of them are suffering, none of them are doing anything except for their own little group of people, but as Christians, God works through us to help each and every body, even our enemies, come on, man, <laughs> you can't make this up, but they're all out there trying to do good, but there's only one way into heaven, and that's Jesus Christ, guys, and, uh, you know, the men that walk with Jesus died horrible deaths. Why? Because Jesus said, if you deny me in front of um, men, I'll deny you in front of father, right? So it's like um, pretty amazing that if he was a liar, Jesus was a liar, you know, and they said, um, yeah, we fed all the people. We had extra fish and, uh, and bread behind the rocks over there. We kept filling up the basket to make Jesus look cool. <laughs> they would have just, shh. They would have just shut up about Jesus, but they didn't. They talked and talked because the spirit of God works through you. You can't help but to share the good news of Jesus Christ, right? And what God has done for me, he can do for you. And the only way into heaven is Jesus Christ. But as we go through this um, um, uh, day and the rest of our lives here, whenever day the Lord takes us home, will be the day that we go home to the Lord. And I don't know how I'm going to go home. Jesus had to go home by a cross. Paul was beheaded. He went home that way. Um, you know, other people, I think, uh, just horrible tortures they went through to go home to the Lord but God won't give you nothing you can't handle and he's with you through the whole process okay so he's going to give you comfort and peace through some very crazy distressful situations as he did um in the book of Job is what what this message is about as I was just rambling on here this morning just enjoying all the sights and sounds that God has blessed us with and having eyesight and ears and and a nose to smell and and the ear to hear um just amazing right you know to see and hear and smell the fresh cut grass hear the birds off in the distance but as i'm sitting here reading the book of job um job prays for relief from his situation um what situation are you in right now are you in a tough situation um what are you going through and as we read the book of job you know it comes down to this that Job was, you know, trying to tell God how his story should end. <laughs> and he needed to repent. And if you go to, um, I'm in the book of uh, Job, chap or Job chapter 17. But if you go to um, Job, uh, or Job, however you pronounce it, potato, potato, right? If you go to um, verse or chapter 40, God challenges Job. And he questions him like a man, he says, you know, the Lord answered Job, Job out of the whirlwind and said, now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. God goes down. Go read it. It's, it's tremendous. And even dinosaurs are described in the book of Job, right? He said they're millions of years old. That's foolishness of, um, you know, these people out here pretending like, again, they know what God's all about and, and how history started and how the world was created and this and that. And it's foolishness of man. God's wisdom or uh, man's um intelligence doesn't compare to God's wisdom. He created the universe and all of us. He's got the answers for the universe and all of us in life. And, and it's just really amazing, right? But if you read the book of Job, it's just tremendous. But it says in 17, my spirit is broken. My days are extinguished. The grave is ready for me. Job is going through some tough times, guys. I don't know if you're familiar with the story. And go read it. It's really, it's really worth it. Um, Any time spent with God is time well spent. But Job, um, 
you know, uh, Satan went to heaven after he got kicked out and he had to like, it's, it was like a business meeting between <laughs> Satan had to go make an appointment with God <laughs> and say, Hey, can I talk to him for a minute? Uh, yeah, just wait out here. The angels probably said, just wait out there, buddy. You know, you were kicked out of here. You're up here starting trouble. Now you want to come back and have a meeting with God. You can't come back in. What's this all about? But the meeting was about, and if you go read Job, it's really quite cool. It was like a business meeting. Um, but God, you know, had him waiting out in the lobby because <laughs> he got kicked out of heaven. Right. And, uh, the long story short, um, Satan says I'm going to and fro which means Satan can't be everywhere at one time he's got demons and you know um, uh, minions and different things keeping an eye out here and there but they can't be everywhere at one time like I mentioned early in the video here in this message but he says I'm um, you know I'm going to and fro and and Job you know um, he's he's being obedient Job was like what and his family were like the only obedient people in the land and God's friend and and Satan like you know troublemaker he is lucifer said he's only being good goody two shoe right <laughs> and liking you because you got a hedge of protection around him and you, you show him favor and you won't let nothing happen to him well god said you know job he's my friend he's my boy you know and it's not biblical everybody's going what he said boy <laughs> god said job is my boy his homeboy but you see what i'm saying so he allows satan to come into his life to do certain things he said you can do anything to his family which meant kill him if he wanted and which happened his children died all his cattle all his livestock died joe was pretty loaded like if you will like maybe like donald trump is today joe was pretty loaded back then you know and blessed up we'll say it that way and um satan came in and wrecked him and the whole thing was that Satan's message to God was he'll turn on you once you take your hands and protection off and he has to go through the toughest of times he's going to give up on you that wasn't the case with Job guys Job stuck through there even Job's own wife said curse God look at this our kids passed away um, I think a, a storm came through you know and, and the roof collapsed on the kids you know and uh, it was pretty um, devastating right <clears throat> but God giveth he taketh right and Job had to go through this um, tough time to test his faith now I don't know what you're going through the message you know this morning but are you going through a tough time where you're like does God even love me anymore and you know if you know God which I do and you do and you read his word and you get to know who he is and, and what he's all about he doesn't give you anything you can't handle and he loves us forever you know he loved us even when we were his enemies but Satan came in and wrecked and destroyed um, Job's life um, he killed everyone, um, uh, all his children pretty much, and his livestock, and he was just, everything was falling apart. But Job kept his faith in God. If you find yourself going through a tough time right now, I want you to keep your faith in God. Do not give up on God because he's got a plan and he's got a purpose and he won't lead you to something not to bring you through it. Now, at the end of the book of Job, uh, Job repented, you know, because Job was, um, when God questioned him in uh, chapter 40, we just talked about, um, he was asking Job, you know, I'm a question like a man. And God just ran down this list of stuff about how he, were you there when I laid out the fountain, you know, the, um, the sky, you know, the sea and, you know, different questions like that. Go read chapter 40. It's so cool, right? And just read the whole book. It's really worth it. I mean, I mean so much in there. And, but um, Job needed to repent. He had pride, you know, acting like um, uh, he knew he was telling, he was telling God how he wanted the story to end <clears throat> and how to go. But it, it don't work like that. Jesus didn't want to um, go through what he went through. You know, he was in the uh, garden, you know, and he says, uh, take the cup from me, Lord. I don't, you know, God, Father God, I don't want to go through this. But Jesus, he did it because he loved us. And Job loved God enough to have faith in God. And Jesus, you know, was the perfect example for all men to follow God in the flesh, showing us never lose faith um always stay prayed up always go off by yourself read your bible spend time with father god is what jesus kept doing when he went off into the wilderness or wherever to be alone right not because he was depressed or lonely <laughs> he went off to to be precious time spent with father god and that's what the, what, what jesus was doing leaving us the perfect example but in, back to job job was going through a lot he had sores um i don't know if you're familiar with um uh, just um i can't remember the name of the uh oh boil my mother used to get a boil like almost every summer around her armpit it was just one little lump and it hurt pus and hope you're not eating breakfast or lunch or dinner but all kind of funky stuff would come out of it but look it up a boil he had these on the top of his head on his whole body to the bottom of his feet there was no escape for this guy like he had him on his head he couldn't lay down on his feet to walk if he laid down he had them all over his body 
And not only did he lose his children, like that wasn't enough, Satan kept pressing and pressing, pressing in, testing Job's faith. Is Satan, is Satan pressing in on you and your family today? Are you going through tragedies? I want you to know you're not alone and love God. Don't hate God because God restored Job with like, say, I can't remember how many children he had, but he gave an abundance of more children, like three times the amount of children, three or four amounts, um, folds of uh, 50, 100 fold of um, uh, livestock and cattle, right? Um, and just an abundance of money and, and riches to reward him just for like, you know, going to heaven after this life isn't enough, but he rewarded them uh, monetarily with the, you know, with the livestock and etc for holding on to his faith and trusting God the whole way Job knew there was a purpose a great purpose behind God because he was friends with God and knew God wouldn't allow things into his life unless they were meant for good like Jeremiah 29 11 you know God offers us a hope in a future he doesn't allow evil into our lives you know to hurt us but to give us a hope in a future so this is Job was real good friends with God and he passed the test. He humbled himself. He repented. You know, after God questioned him, he had no choice. <laughs> the Lord was, uh, Father God was bombarded him with questions that he had no answer for. Um, and, you know, what are you going through today? Are you having a tough time right now? Like poor brother Joe back in the day. But here's the thing. You're being obedient. Joe was obedient. Things are happening. You're like, why is God letting this happen? Well, this is why, because God is testing your faith right now. He's allowing Satan to come into your life in certain areas of your life to strengthen you. And this is what God knew. God knew Job could handle it. And then Job humbled himself and repented because Job was a little prideful acting like since he was good friends with God, which I am as well. And maybe you are too, right? Um, but I never act like I know what God's plans are, but I've, I share experiences of what he's brought me through and he'll do for you, you know, and those, on those kind of notes and facts that I give people, right? Little tidbits and like, yeah, God did this for me and wonder if this is going to happen here, but we never know what God's plans are. And Job, here he is being obedient. Satan goes to heaven. Real quick um, a recap. Ask God, hey, you know, he's only being good because you're protecting him. God pulled his hands of protection off. And it's God pulling his hands of protection off you today. And you're feeling the heat. You're feeling you're in distress. You're in the tribulation, a uh, trial and tribulation, which means distress, right? Um, are you going through something right now? Well, Job stayed focused on God through it all. And through the loss of his children, have you lost a child? Um, the loss of his livestock, have you lost stuff financially? Um, and and just everything, all the emotions that come with it. God stay or Job stayed focused on Father God, and he was okay through it all, through it all. So if you're going through something right now and you're feeling beat up and broke down, and you're wondering why ain't God healing you or why why is this happening to me? Go read the book of Job. It will explain everything. Hallelujah. You'll get all your questions answered in the book of Job about why God allows things into our lives. He's not giving us um, things evil into our lives, you know, to hurt us, but to give us hope in the future. As Jeremiah 29, 11 and Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good, for the purpose of those who love God. And we love God. So if you're going through a tough time, the message here is just know God is... Um, you know, testing you. He's putting you through the fire to refine you and, and burn those impurities out of you and uh, and testing your faith. Are you going to stay loyal to God? Or are you going to curse him and give up? Job stayed loyal and stayed focused on God. But go read uh, Job Prays for Relief in verse uh, chapter 17. And it's just amazing. But in verse 3, it says, But now a pledge for me with yourself. Who he um, Who is he who shakes hands with me? For you have hidden their heart from understanding. Therefore, you will not exalt them. He who speaks flattery to his friends, even the eyes of his children, will fail. But he has made me byword of the people. And I have become one in whose face men spit. Joe, Joe was going through a tough time, man. He didn't have God's hands of protection on him. You know, and I'll leave it at that, guys. I don't want to run out of time here and stuff but just know that whatever you're going through it's just meant to be and trust the god along the process jesus had to go to the cross paul was beheaded and i don't know how i'm going to lead this earth i don't know how you're going to lead there but through your suffering believe me other people benefit through your suffering okay lots of lessons people learn through our suffering and god won't give you nothing you can't handle peace be with you go read the book of job it's really amazing and verse uh, chapter 40 is fabulous where god questions job <laughs> Woo! oh man i wouldn't have wanted to been job that day <laughs> god bless you guys i hope you have a wonderful day remember hold on to your faith 
and uh, through the darkness, the sun's going to shine again soon. Hallelujah.